Hello, welcome everyone to my new tutorial where I'm going to show you how on, how can you uh, interface an RGB LED diode with a microcontroller. So in this project I have uh, seven switches and seven different colors I can display on one LED diode, so in one single package. So if I touch the first one it's gonna be red, the second button when I touch it is push uh, Sorry, this was a Serbian one. Uh, uh, I mean, if you push the second one, that is gonna be green color, blue color, third switch, fourth is gonna be magenta, uh, cyan is gonna be the fifth color, the sixth switch represents the yellow color, and the seventh represents, uh, it will glow white. So let's do it in Micro C Pro for pick. Okay, first of all, let's see how an RGB LED diode works. It basically has four pins over here, as you can see, R represents uh, the color red, G represents the color green, and B the color blue. And they have a common cathode over here. So it's like uh, in one box or in one glass over here that you have three separate LED diodes. And here, when I uh, put uh, an RGB LED diode in a schematic over here, I'm going to uh, show you how this works. So if I put a logic high on R, then the LED, the RGB LED diode is going to uh, glow red. If I put a logic high on G, then it is going to glow uh, green. If I put a logic high here on B, and it is going to glow B. Now, uh, what happens when I uh, put a logic high on R and on G? Then you will see that the color here is yellow. So it it's like uh, here is the you know colorful diagram over here. When I mix red with green, I get a yellow color, and. Um, uh, that's it. Now, if I mix uh, green and blue, I get this color called cyan. It's like light blue over here. Uh, and if I uh, mix red and blue, I get this purple color called magenta. And if I put logic highs all over here, then I get a white uh, L white color or, or the RGB LED is gonna glow white like in the beginning of the video so um, I hope now you have now you know here looking from this diagram that you have seven combinations over here and they have uh, a set seven switches and uh, let me show you the schematic of the project from the beginning of the video okay now here is the schematic in protos from the uh, of the project from the beginning of the video where i show you now uh, first i want to say here that you don't see any oscillators over here or any oscillator over here and those capacitors that i had in previous two videos uh, that's because uh, protos can uh, work without the crystal device or uh, in this program but in real life you have to have if you want to use an external oscillator so when you um, want you can only uh, change the frequency of the uh, clock here in uh, the properties of the component okay now as you can see here I have seven switches over here which I also had in the uh, beginning of the video I use seven switches and when I click uh, a particular one it's gonna uh, a col uh, it, it's gonna be a different color on this uh, LED diode over here so uh, when I start the program as you can see here when I put a logic high on port B or a zero uh, pin of the uh, register B then it's gonna glow red when I uh, bring logic uh, high on uh, RB1 then it's gonna glow green 
Exception now blue, uh, magenta, uh, cyan, and uh, I don't know, yellow, as you can see, and white. Okay, so let's go step by step. I'm gonna stop the simulation. So here is the code in Micro C Pro for PIC. So here, this is the beginning of the program. So void main starts the program. Uh, these are configure Ansel zero and Ansel H zero. Uh, I told you that this just uh, configures all the pins as digital. Now, uh, try B zero X F F. I hope you remember zero uh, zero X means that's the hexadecimal combination, and I, if I put F F, that means all uh, the combination over here are gonna be one. And when I bring one on the tries b that means it's an input to the microcontroller so uh, i put all this register over here as an input all the pins here as an input although i don't use rb7 it doesn't uh, bother me if uh, i don't use it. it it was just easier to me to put ff that's not not a big problem now i used uh, switch operation as you can see here while means that the program is gonna work uh, it's gonna be an endless loop so switch is uh, operation a little bit different than the if statement that I had in the previous video so uh, switch like selects what you want to do so if I put like here switch and in brackets put port B this means that it is gonna read what is gonna be in port B and there are cases over here so switch and case so if I have a case that I put 0B uh, this combination on the register on the port B then I will have an output one on port D and this is the red color and I finish the operation with a uh, break and a semicolon so uh, switch is like selecting what you want to read and if i have a case that i bring this on the input zero uh, binary one zero zero seven zeros and one and i have to put double dots not a semicolon double dots then i will have an output of port d is equal to one so let's let me just simulate that so zero 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 uh, sorry one means that I have to have a logical high on the zeroth pin of the register B. So here I have to have a logical high over here with the push button. So when I uh, simulate uh, the program, I brought as here logical high on the zero uh, on the zeroth pin. As you can see, this means that the logical that's a logical high on the zero pin and on the port D I have one so uh, it's decimal one or zero 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 uh, here it, here I have decimal one so it's gonna be logical high on the zero pin of uh, port D uh, zero th this is RD zero so that uh, means that was the red that's the red color and when I bring the push button back when I open it when it opens uh, it is gonna remember the last uh, combination I had now let's go let, you, you can copy this code in the description of my video now there is the second case when I bring uh, a one logical one over here on RB1 so this is the input the second input RB1 when I bring a logical input uh, high logical input over here then I want to have a green or uh, let me see what color is yes a green color so port D will be equal to 2 so when I have 2 decimal 2 over here then I'm gonna have 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 so this means that the uh, there is gonna be logical high on port D1 RD1 over here and when I start the simulation and br when I bring the logical high over here, RB1, you can see that it is going to be a logical high on the green pin of the RGB 
LED diode and it is gonna glow green. Let's see another color. Uh, then when I have 0, 0, uh, 0B, 0, 0, 0, I don't know, 1, 0, 0, that means that I'm gonna bring logical high on RB2 and then I'm gonna have an output uh, on the port D that is equal to 4. So binary 4, here it is. Let me just bring a little closer to the number. So 4 means uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. That means the logical high is gonna be on the second uh, pin of port D. So here is the second pin of port uh, D. And when I bring logical high to RB2, then the uh, LED is gonna glow blue. Okay, now let's see what I had uh, and uh, what was the other situation. So if I bring logical high here on the uh, third pin, so RB3 over here, or he here RB3, when I bring logical high, what color am I gonna have? Magenta color. So magenta is when I mix, uh, I don't know, uh, let me see, P port five is uh, one zero one. I think that is when I uh, mix uh, red and blue. Let, we will see. So when I click, so when I bring a logical high on RB3, yeah, it's red and blue. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know why does RD0 have this gray color now, but it is uh, on the logical high and also the blue pin over here uh, is also on the logical high so R and B are mixed and we have a magenta color I hope that is uh, clear now okay now I have uh, when I bring logical high on what are before I will have a cyan here yeah and that means that the green and blue LED p uh, pins are high S and I have to have an output on the port D that is equal to 6. 6 is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So port RD1 and port RD2 on, are on high uh, levels. Okay, now what I have here is a yellow color when I bring on the fifth R, uh, RB5, I think, no, yes, R, when I bring on uh, RB5 over here, a logical high, I will have a yellow color. So here, I brought a logical high on RB5, now I have a yellow color. And uh, that means that the R and the G pins are on logical high, and, uh, so, sorry, and port D is equal to three. When I have three, that means that the last, uh, the first two pins are on logical high. So that is when I mix uh, green and red, and I have a yellow color on the RGB LED. And the last one is uh, when I bring the logical high input on RB6, and all uh, here. Uh, RD0, RD1 and RD2 are on high levels although I don't know why R isn't showing uh, red never mind you just believe me all these are on high uh, logical levels and that was the last case over here and I have uh, port D is equal to 7 so when I have 7 as you can see 1, 1 and 1 those are the first 3 pins are on logical high and uh, oh sorry and the LED diode is gonna glow white. So this was the project for the RGB uh, LED diode. You can mix it a little bit. Uh, you know, you can change the combination of the switches. You can put more uh, uh, these LEDs and you know, don't copy the code. Uh, I mean, you can copy it, no, no problem. But um, you know, you have to, uh, practice a little bit so you know I don't know put a uh, RGB LED diode on port C here you know just uh, you have to uh, work a little bit you, uh, uh, for yourself you know so you will be able to 
program it's it's hard to program uh, if you're a beginner it's hard to program on yourself but you know you, ha you have to mix it a little bit up so it would be a little bit harder for you so uh, in this video I just wanted to show you how you can uh, use the input pins uh, the switch and break switch operation over here and uh, that's it so thank you for watching and see you in my next video goodbye